In this video, I'll show you four separate examples on how to convert between imperial and metric units. The question reads, convert each length. The first one is A, three inches to millimeters. Now to do this, you'll need one of these conversion ratios. And notice that the first conversion ratio goes from inches to millimeters. Now every conversion ratio that you'll get will look something like this, where you have something on the left side and then something on the right side. Every conversion ratio can be written as a fraction. So for example, this one can be written as one inch over 25.4 millimeters, or it can be written as 25.4 millimeters over one inch. It's very important that you recognize this, that it can be written in two ways. Now the reason why we write it as a fraction is because it makes the process a lot easier. So here we want to go from three inches, and what we have to do is decide which of these two fractions we are going to use to multiply to this three. The fraction that we will choose for this particular case is this one below. I'm going to show you why. So if I multiply three inches by 25.4 millimeters at the top and inches at the bottom, what's going to happen is that this inch at the top will cancel out with this inch at the bottom. And so you're left with three times 25.4 millimeters, and that's exactly what we're looking to get. So three times 25.4 will give us 76.2, 76.2 millimeters. And that is the answer for A. Now we're going to replicate this method for all the other questions. Let's move on to B. In B, they want us to convert 8.9 kilometers, which is a metric unit, to miles. So I'm going to write down 8.9 kilometers. And I'm going to look at my conversion ratio chart. And you'll notice that over here, one mile is equal to approximately 1.609 kilometers. Now this can be written in two ways. So let's write this out in its two versions. One mile over 1.609 km or 1.609 km divided by one mile. Now of these two, we will choose the first one because if we choose the first one, where we have mile at the top and 1.609 kilometers at the bottom, the kilometers will cancel out because it's one on top of the other. So that's what you want to achieve. The unit that you want to get rid of has to have one on top and one at the bottom. So multiplying this out, we end up with 8.9 times one, which we won't do because we know it's the same thing, divided by 1.609. And that gives us an answer of 5.53. 5.53 miles is the same thing as 8.9 kilometers. So watch your speed limit. Next, we'll move on to C. Now in part C, they want us to go from 3 feet to centimeters. So we have 3 feet. And we're going to multiply this. Now this is the conversion ratio that we will use. 1 foot is equal to 30.48 centimeters. This can be written in two ways. It can be written with the foot at the top or the foot at the bottom. We'll choose the version where the foot is at the bottom. So I'll write down one foot over 30.48 centimeters. Using our calculator, we end up with three times 30.48 divided by one. We don't need to put that one there. And our final answer is 91.44. 91.44 centimeters exists in three feet. So let's move on to D. In D, they want us to convert 340 meters to yards. Now to do that, we'll use this conversion ratio. And which version will you use? The one where you have the meters at the top or the meters at the bottom? The one with the meter at the bottom is the correct one. So I'm gonna multiply this by 0.9144 meters at the bottom and at the top we have one yard. By multiplying this out the meters will cancel out. So we have 340 times 1 divided by 0.9144 and we end up with 371.8 371.8 yards. And so there you have it. Those are four examples on how to convert between imperial 
and metric units. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.